Here's a common scenario where uh, someone buys a house, uh, makes a down payment, and then gets a fixed rate mortgage with monthly payments to pay for the remainder. And so first things first, let's start with the purchase price of the house and then figure out exactly how much the loan amount is going to be. And so as is standard, the bank's going to require down payment. It's going to be some percentage of the purchase price. And so here that's going to be 15%. So we're going to take the purchase price of $256,000. 15% of that, which is $38,400, that's going to be the down payment. And then the remainder, or $217,000. $600, that's going to be the mortgage. So this right here is the amount borrowed. Okay, so, so think of that as step one. Step one is just to figure out exactly how much is being borrowed. So this is going to be our present value of our loan. Now let's go to a step two. So in step two, draw a timeline for the repayment stream. So the repayment stream, since we have monthly payments over 30 years, we're going to have 12 times 30 or 360 payments. We don't know what the payment is, so I'm going to write PMT here. And let's think about what's happening with the loan. So with the loan, you are swapping the bank $217,600 to be used today to purchase the house for this series of promised payments of some amount over the next 30 years. Okay. So um, we can now recognize, hey, this is, this is, this is just an annuity, so we're going to solve for the payment. Um, the only other tweak that we need to make is that we have an annual rate, right? We have an APR. We need to convert to periodic, so we need to convert that to monthly. Okay, so we just need to divide that number by 12. All right, so once we've done all that, we can enter everything into our financial calculator and find the payment. So let's go through what's going to go into the financial calculator. So I'm going to start with 217,600. That's going to be my PV. And I'm going to call that, I'm going to make that a positive number because it's money that I get to use to pay for the house. And then the payment that I'm solving for, that's going to be a negative number because it's uh, money that I have to send away from me to the bank. Right, how many periods are on this timeline? 360. We have a monthly timeline, so there's 360 months. And what is our monthly or our periodic interest rate? I here is going to be 3.3 divided by 12. And then finally, is there a future value that goes into our financial calculator? The answer to that is no because there is no additional payment due at time 360 other than what's already been accounted for in the payment. So FV in this case is going to be zero. All right, so let's go to our financial calculator. All right, so first off, let's enter the PV. So 217,600, there's my PV. N, there's 360 payments, so N360 in goes into N. Now, the monthly interest rate, so I like to do everything possible to avoid rounding errors, and so here's how I'm going to enter my I. I'm just going to say 3.3 .3 divided by 12 equals, and so there is my unrounded periodic interest rate. So now that my calculator has already calculated that, I'm just going to go and push the I key. So that's stored as I, no rounding at all. Exactly what I want. Zero is going to go into FV, and now I'm almost done. So compute payment, $952.99.